Hello, Floss Tube. This is Stasha, and believe it or not, here we are. Video number three. There is a lot of stuff in this one. There's mainly haul. There is a lot of haul. I have no idea how I did it, but I managed to sign up for three Halloween boxes. I only remember signing up for one. But I've got three of them. So, cool. Um, since getting back into Floss Tube, I discovered that most of the people I used to follow don't make videos anymore. It's been three to five years since most of them made videos. However, I did discover there are a few people that I have followed for a while that still make videos. Um, Jesse Marie does stuff, of course. You know, Jesse Marie brought us whip go. She's still she's still out there doing them. Um, Handwork Maniac, Elizabeth Martinez, Aussie Stitcher, Amy Loves Toads, and Pam's Crafty Corner. And what's really cool is Pam's Crafty Corner has has now done is now doing a feature that she calls CCC, Coffee Crime and craft. And it's a stitch with me video where you, where you see what she's stitching on or crafting on whatever she's working on that that week. And you stitch along with her while she talks about some of the cases that have been in the news. Um, I'm sticking mainly to local cases because frankly, there's enough weirdness going on in this state that uh, I don't have to go national. Although we will talk about one national. Um, so those are the people I've subscribed to that have been around forever and are still making videos. So, and of course, Bougie Stitchers are the ones that got me started on this. And Sarah King keeps prodding me and telling me, you gotta go film, you gotta go film. So we'll, we'll do call-outs for their channels too. One of the people I've discovered since getting back into floss tube is Chris cross stitch and his neighborhood is really cool in his last in his last video he asked everybody to use the translate feature and the sub captions the subtitles and go find a stitcher who's not from your country and if you want some help finding stitchers from Finland it's called Risti Pisto R-I-S-T-I-P-I-S-T-O. So the other thing that Chris talked about was he he had a royal flush. And we'll get back, we'll get into that later, but first we're going to talk about the winner of popcorn. Which is actually butter, you butter believe it, from Silver Creek samplers. And what's left over of my flosses and the conversion chart because after all pattern is just a place to start don't follow it exactly I mean that's boring anyway we had four comments three that qualified and um, I've lost it it's MJ's stitching where is it where is it um I can't find it. Ah. Anyway, um, let me get this. Comments. MJ's Stitching Memories. So MJ's Stitching Memories, you are the winner. Um, ping, hit me up on Messenger so that I can get your address and information and I will drop this in the mail. And I'm not really fast at getting to the post office, so hopefully you'll get it by the end of November. Okay. There were no questions. Actually, I do have one question. When I was when I was at the state fair, I had someone come by, her name is Becca. And she was wondering, how do you stitch on clothing? So we're not going to do it this time because we have haul. We have lots of haul. Um, 
so next video or the video after we are going to do some pillowcases and we're going to stitch this pattern onto the pillowcases. That just reminds me so much of my grandma for some reason. My grandma's the one who taught me how to stitch. And what's really cool is the way I got this pattern is when I was at the retreat in Wyoming, I met an absolutely amazing lady called Lee. And look at this! She sent me a letter. Lee is from Minnesota. And she actually sent me a two-page letter. Nobody sends letters anymore. They send emails. And this seemed just so cool to get mail. And now I have to go find stationery so I can write her back. Because it's just so cool to get mail. So anyway, we have two, two pieces of fabric that will that I will show how to stitch to make pillow to make pillowcases on that. And I'm actually gonna make the full pillow king size pillowcases out of this. Just like my grandma taught me. So oh, leftover threads. Okay. So Chris Cross Stitch, and honestly, his finish of Le Grand Jot, you need to see how he FF owed that. That is just absolutely amazing. So anyway, he said that he had a royal flush because he had a FFO, a finish, whips, and a start. Um, that's only four cards in his hand. And around here, when you play poker, you have five. So we have a royal flush today too. We have an FFO. This is a just this is just Nan Butterfly Garden. I think it's Butterfly Garden. Anyway, it's one of my Just Nans from Just Nanuary. So for those of you, because I wasn't filming back then, Just Nanuary, I realized I had over 300 Just Nan patterns, and most of them had never been started. So in January of 2023. I worked on a different Just Nan pattern every single day of the, of the month. So that was 28 new starts and three pieces that I already had started that got worked on. So this is one of my Just Nanuary finishes. It is the, the, uh, but the charm that came with the kit. It's done in the called for threads, but the fabric is just a scrap I had lying around that I had hand dyed at some point. Actually, it had been a turquoise fabric, but then it had gotten sun faded because it sat around the stash room for a really long time. And then I, so I added purple to cover the fade lines and it actually turned out pretty cool. And I, I kind of like that. So there, oh, and the frame is, so when you go up to Jill Rensel's in Ogden, which is an hour and a half from my house, she has a box of freebie frames. These are things that she's just made with end. She's just put them together with ends. And this is out of her freebie frame box. So, and I just framed it myself. So there's my, there's my FFO. We can call that the ace in the Royal Flush. So next is finishes. So, Right now, in Semi-Sane Stitchers, we are playing dominoes. And with dominoes, you pick a level, level that you're going to do, either 25, 50, or 100 stitches. I'm doing the insane level, which is 100 stitches. And for each domino, you add whatever your increase level is. So your very first domino is 100 stitches. Your next domino is 200 stitches. Your third domino is 300 stitches, and so on. I'm currently on domino number 10. And I have finished all my Just Nan gingerbread pieces. So there's my Just Nan gingerbread pieces. There is the reindeer, gingerbread reindeer mouse, gingerbread peace mouse, gingerbread jingle mouse, who is upside down, the needle square for gingerbread peace mouse. Um, Gingerbread Fairy Mouse. I don't remember which mouse that is. I'll have to look it up. 
the gingerbread fairy stocking and the gingerbread reindeer stocking. Okay, now, which is the one I don't remember? Gingerbread reindeer, gingerbread reindeer stocking, gingerbread jingle mouse. Oh, no, no, ginger, sugar plum fairy mouse. That was the gingerbread mouse fairy stocking. Gingerbread peace mouse. I have somehow managed to take, we did, no, we did gingerbread jingle mouse, gingerbread jingle mouse. Okay, I must have finished this one a while back and taken the pattern out. Oh, 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 Holly Go Brightly. That is Holly Go Brightly. Because... Where is it, where is it, where is it? I have a finishing pack with a holly leaf in it. So that was Holly Go Brightly. So anyway, there are one, two, three, four. Well, Holly Go Brightly doesn't count because she wasn't this month. One, two, three, four, five, six finishes this month playing dominoes. And in November, because I am now an employee and not a contractor and I get to have Thanksgiving holiday, I will do FFOing on Thanksgiving holidays. Okay, so finishes. That's the king in our royal flush. Queen is works in progress. So I am currently on domino number 10, which would be a thousand stitches, which there's not a thousand stitches left in this one. I think I put like close to 200 in it right now. This is the plumed peacock mouse. So if you finish a piece, and don't complete the number of stitches, you have to roll over the number of stitches. So I had to roll over 882 stitches into this one, and I'm pretty sure there are not 1,800 stitches left. So I, my, when I roll over to number 11, I will have over 1,000 stitches to add to it. So I usually stack my dominoes so that they're closest to being finished. So my first domino was Miss Witchy was a Witchy Sister Mouse. My second domino was Miss Miss Witchy Mouse. This is one of the other Witchy Oh, this is Witch, uh, Hazel Witch Mouse. No, this is Hazel Mouse with her little house. But um, I finished her before October, so I still have the ears to finish and beads and backstitch for Miss Witchy Mouse. But I finished um, Witchy Stitcher Mouse. So that was, that's another finish, but Queen, Whips, that's what we're working on right now. Okay, one of my other dominoes that I put some time in on was Lady Scarlet's Christmas. We're down to backstitching and beads left on this one. I did not finish that before I got to the, let's see, Lady Scarlet's was four. So I did, I did 400 stitches on that. So that was that. So... We've now done the ace, king, queen. So that's my whips for this for, for this time period. And I have a new start. So this is our jack in our royal flush. This is the Stitch Onomy 2023 Halloween Stitch Long. So they you get a free you get a free pattern every day of October. And I did not start it because I was doing dominoes. I did buy the kit, but I swapped out the fabric. I love that needle minder. It's whip instead of rip, instead of rip, instead of rest in peace. It's work in progress. And this is what I've got started on the Stitchonomy Stitch Along. Um, I swap it. 
<clears throat> the kit came with a gray Ada, but I am using a uh, Picture This Plus brash. So it's Picture This Plus brash. But I am actually using, I am using the floss that came with the kit and this really cool floss holder, the spider web floss holder. So I am loving this. And there are two charms that came with the kit. And there's a needle in there too, but I just, I just pulled needles out of the stash. So, and when I got it originally, all the floss was on here, but I like it better on there. That is just so cool. So this was from Stitchonomy. And this is the bag, this is the bag that I won at the Crazy Woman Retreat in Wyoming. It's my coffee and tea bag. Actually, I think it's just tea. Yes, there were some jokes made about tea bagging. But this is my tea bag. And it is holding my stitch on me piece. And you'll notice there's no pattern in here because the stitch on me pieces come digitally. You get a new one each day, and I'm just using um, books and an iPad to uh, do it. So it comes with, you get the, you get the pattern, and then you get the backstitching instructions. So there's the four for our Royal Flush. So five, the 10, haul. Oh my gosh, do we have haul? We have lots of haul. I am ashamed at how much haul we have. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am not. So, first haul. These are knitting needles. But Stasha, you don't knit. This is yarn. But Stasha, you don't knit. Look, here are books. Including how to knit. Another how to knit. So I have three cyber sisters that we are in touch like all the time, constantly. And one of my cyber sisters is actually a knitting designer. And she has done patterns for Vogue. She's done lots of, ma lots of magazine patterns, patterns all over the place. And she, she had a shop and she decided that no, is not fun anymore. It's time to close up the shop. And I mentioned, she, she's mentioned in the group that she was having a clearance. I'm like, does that mean you're not going to knit me socks this year? If you're clearing everything out? And she's like, you need to learn how to knit your own socks. I'm like, well, okay. But I don't know how to knit. After all, my grandma taught me most things. Mama taught me how to cross stitch. She taught me macrame. She taught me quilting. She taught me embroidery. She taught me. <sighs> she taught me how to make pillowcases. Um, she taught me how to. She she taught me how to how to do pretty much all the crafts I know how to do. Oh, she taught me how to crochet. She gave up when it came to knitting because I am left-handed and she is right-handed, and she said, "Stasha, dear." Let's just put it this way. Your sisters need to have one craft they can do better than you. And I love that she said that. I mean, this is the same woman who told me, project backs are like underwear. You need to be careful who you show them to. So, you know, she's no longer with us, but I love my mama. So anyway, that's my first haul, is I have stuff to learn how to knit. And I currently have 45 whips. And I know that's nothing compared to a lot of you, but I get twitchy if I'm over 36. So I've got nine more whips to finish before I can start anything. Except for I did start the Stitch On Me Christmas. 
It's not Christmas. Stitch on me Halloween. Okay. Next haul. This is the Silks for You box that arrived today. And you know what? I'm not going to open it right now because we're going to go over some of the things that arrived earlier. We're going to go with the oldest package. Well, actually, the yarn was the oldest package, but we're going to go with the next oldest package. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to figure out a way to cover that up. I bet I showed my address on the other one, too. I should have I should have blacked those out before I started. You got the name on my credit card. Okay. Okay, you get to listen to me scribble on addresses. Okay. I don't remember ordering the Autumn Lane Stitchery Halloween box. I know that last year's was amazing. Um, Tonight We Ride, that was from last year's. These are not fabric scissors. These are paper scissors. These are out of the kitchen drawer. But my husband is also a knife sharpener and scissor sharpener, so they are very, very sharp. So we are cutting open the box. And we will do an unboxing of the Autumn Lane. If you are, if you have not received your Autumn Lane box and you don't know what it is, and you don't want to be surprised, watch this after you get your box. So, and I have been so good because this has been sitting around here for a week, and I have not opened it yet because I wanted to open it with all of you. So. Okay, Cassandra's Bewitching Box of Mystery, which we will keep, we will keep the scan me out of the picture, because if you didn't order the box, you shouldn't scan it. First, we have Evening Stroll Kit. On perforated paper. Oh, I just want to start that right now. Can you guys even see that? It's the glare out there. Evening stroll. That is cool. Gloves in a bottle. Hand shielding lotion. Non greasy, last through washings, dermatologist approved. That will be wonderful for working with silk. Because when you work with silk, it, it well, at least for me, it sucks all, this, all the uh, moisture out of my skin. We have an easel for holding up your project when you're done and you've got it framed. Here is the frame. Just like that, there's the frame. Artwork. We'll put it up with the other one. This is last year's art, artwork. And I dropped. I dropped it. <clears throat> I will have to go find it. Oh, there it is. So there are the two. This is tonight we ride. That's just pretty. Let me push the books back a little bit. Okay, not today. Okay, there's confetti, which we will try not to get all over everything.
an Elm Street needle minder. Okay, the bottom of the box says Happy Halloween and it has more artwork. I'm going to be careful putting that down because I do not want confetti all over the room. And we have Trick or Treat. Dance Party. That's cool. I like that one. Witch's Hallow. I can see myself doing that one too. Oh, these are cool. I, I really like Autumn Rain Citry. I am glad now that I bought this, even though I do not remember buying it. Haunted Hallow is my favorite pattern. Haunted Hollow is my favorite pattern that Aaron has ever designed. So that's Witch's Hollow. So maybe that's what she's talking about. Okay. So that is the Autumn Lane stitchery box. And they usually have a <clears throat> Okay, so there is a password protected part of the website to see the others. There are multiple there are four different needle minders i got elm street so it'll be interesting to look up and see what the other three are and what see see if there's they said if 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 you absolutely need to have one of the others you can order it and buy it there okay so next halloween books as much as i love under the sea fabrics I did not buy their fabric box for spooky season. But I do not remember buying the Bestitch Me box either, but the Bestitch Me box is here. So I must have ordered the Bestitch Me box. Either that, or this is an order that I forgot I placed. But anyway, we have we have surprise mail from Bestitch Me, which is another fabric dyer I love. I fell in love with, with Live and Die in Live and Die LA at the retreat in Wyoming. So that is a fun one too. Okay. We have hand eye fibers. We have Lucy. I'm going to open them up and take them out and show you. We have Lucy. Carnelian. Bumble. I figure that's Bumblebee. Froggy. Look, you can see them against the black. They look good. Shadows. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's Italian. Geo yellow? We'll just call it Geo. Cauldron. We'll hold that up over here so you can see it. So it kind of matches the shirt. And Deville, as in Cruella Deville. My youngest was fascinated with Cruella when, when they were younger, when, well, when he was younger. Okay, next. Spellbound by Yahina Designs. And I'm willing to... And 
you can get oh some of they use some of the ones from here. Okay. Candy. Jolly Ranchers. Okay, we have sealed in plastic. Floss drops. this a little bit later because the fabrics oh this is this is this is why I ordered I don't remember ordering it but I'm glad I did blood moon That definitely screams goblin to me. Goblin, goblin, goblin. Ooh, what would I put on that? If you've got suggestions for what to stitch on goblin, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on that. And ghoulish. What, what should I stitch on ghoulish? That could be fun. Okay. Packing paper. More candy. Apparently, I did order the deluxe box with bo deluxe mystery box with twenty eight Cashel linen. Okay, I just don't remember doing it. <laughs> An eye of Ort jar kind of goes with my frog jar. So we have an eye of Ort jar now. I have enough stitching rooms that these come in very handy. So now the little bag. What's in the little bag? We have a needle minder. Very desolate countryside. We have a bead minder. So you have a sticky side for the beads with a magnet on the back so you can actually keep your beads on your project instead of somewhere else. A beautiful counting pin. And the counting pin with the magnet on the top so you can put your needle on it if you need to. Another counting pin and a scissor fob. And considering the number of scissors I have, that will come in handy. All in a cute little bag. Okay, so that is the unboxing of Be Stitched Me. And that is amazing. We'll do candy later. I don't remember why I didn't do the under the sea box. But they have a spooky box too. 
my last spooky box, which I do, this is the only one I remember ordering. This is my Australian package. You see, it's got my right name on it. Okay. This is my Silks For You spooky box. Nice black box. See how nice I was to hold off on opening everything until I could be with you? Okay. Oh, yay! Cherry Ripe and a Dairy Milk ca Caramello Koala. I love Australian chocolate. I'm so glad those were in there. We have a balloon, which I guess you can blow up and celebrate. Some, we have the dead masks. Oh, look. We have cathedral window scissors. And before I think about putting this, the spooky fob on it, there is a witchy fob. Let's go back. There's a witch fob to go on them. And what I I'm going to give this to my husband to sharpen. Another sticker. And this one comes with two needle minders. Isn't that cat cute? And then a screen. But, oh, a skull. But, you know, being silk's for you. We needed the silk. So we have PR 159, Halloween 2023, 45 liters on that one. PR 70, PR 019, and CM007. So all of these are 15 meters except for this one, which is 45. And a happy Halloween chart. Which Joe, who does the dyeing for silks for you, designed. And that's cool. And all the colors. Are the ones that are on the chart. Oh, hey. Hey, where did I put? Wouldn't that be cool with Blood Moon? I could use Blood Moon on them and do that one. That would be fun. I may do that. I may call that fully kitted up and add it to my kitted up chart because I have. I have a whole shelf of kitted up patterns. I just haven't been started yet. But hey, this is happy time. So when I went to Joanne's, I'm sorry, I need a drink. Go get your beverage of choice. Mine's Coke Zero. Actually, mine's Coke Zero Cherry, but I didn't have any cherry in the in the fridge right now. So, when I went to Joanne's to buy the fabric for the pillowcase, which by the way is broadcloth, um, they had the Cross Stitch 2023 ornament issue in. So, we have the 2023 ornament issue.
And one of the nice things they did was look, here are the ornaments in the very front. Can you see them? Here are the ornaments. There's the next set. Okay, there is one I wanted to point out. There's a penguin one that's really cute. Okay, I love that Christmas pudding. I'm going to have to stitch that Christmas pudding. I'm going to have to tr figure out where to get the little cake stand thing. And the other one I really liked, was it was a penguin by uh, Stitchy Fish. Ah, there. That penguin. That penguin by Stitchy Fish Designs. So. I, you know, I've always, the, the Stitchy Fish stuff that gets ends up in the ornament issue, I love her stuff. So. Okay. So, that is all the, oh no, that is not all the haul. I told you there was lots of haul. This is the next haul. So, I was enabled by one of my friends in semi-sane asylum. They mentioned that they were going down to Silver Needle and that Silver Needle had grab bags for $10 each. Guaranteed to have $100 worth of product in for $10. $10. And if you purchased five grab bags, they would throw a sixth one in free. My credit card's smoking when I call. So, first grab bag. Everything is out of it. Okay. So we have Jeanette Douglas's kind friend bag. And it's full kit. Everything to make the bag. Sweetheart tree, love you and love you more. Summer House Stitch Works, Fragment in Time. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I will probably figure out how to change the uh, letters. This one has a needle minder with it. Again, Jeanette Douglas Designs. And it's called Swans. Oh, Swan. Oh, one Swan. One Swan. That will stitch up quick. That will make a good travel project. You know, for when you're sitting at the doctor's office, you're sitting in the carpool lane. That is going to be a, a nice little travel project. Sam and Liberty, a sip of the seasons, from Stitching with the Housewives. Cool. Homespun Elegance, Mary Noel Collection. Cradle of Christmas Joy.
So we've got two little cradles there. Birds and Blooms with Chessie and me. Country Garden Stitchery, Strolling Through Time. Just Another Button Company. Alphabet Art with the buttons, the letter F. I did not know anybody named with the letter F. I will have to go out and make new friends. Ooh. This one's actually a book. So. With a pencil. So let's see what. It's a calendar. It's a 2023 calendar. My year in colors. Projects I finished in 2023. Misty May Endies. Stitch alongs. You know, the days don't match up, but you could do that for 2024 too. Oh, and it came with stickers. And the pencil to journal with. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Mary Had a Little Lamb by Design Company. Little by Little Design Company. Mary Had a Little Lamb. Baby Love. Amy Brocken Designs. Oh, this is cute. Victoria Sampler Bitty Buttons Fawn. And that is the first bag. Bag number two. We're just going to tear that open. Okay. Ooh. The entire set of Michael Powell's Handmade Houses of Provence. The church, the cafe, the shop, the archway, and the hotel. All of them that fit together. We have the cafe, which is number two. The shop is number three. The archway is number four. The hotel is number five. And the church, which is number one. I think I will start these after I finish the Just Cross Stitch Main Street Town that I'm doing. Okay, 
Santa and the Holly. Homespun Elegance. Designs by Sandra Sullivan. Oh! We have alphabet art number F again. Apparently, there is nobody in Oklahoma named F. So, if you know somebody who has an F name or would just like the letter F, leave a comment. Uh, let's use the word friend. Because friend starts with F. And we'll give this away in the next video. Country Garden Stitchery, Strolling Through Time. I think that's a duplicate. Double check. It is, it is a year of flowers, but it's a different flower. So, we have two from the set. Oh, this is cool. Winter in a Jar from Elizabeth Ann Toledo. I have had dinner with her. So, once upon a time, when I worked for NCR, we used to go to Atlanta, the Atlanta headquarters every now and then. And there were a group of us that would get together and go eat dinner and talk stitching. And Elizabeth was one of the people in that group. Okay, ready for bag three? Oh, before we go into bag three. Um, on Witchy Stitcher Day, where we were supporting Witch, Witch, Witchy Stitcher, who has recently had a diagnosis of cancer, I bought the Witchy Stitcher shirt. Leave me alone. I'm cross-stitching. So that was my... I also I also bought her, her carousel. I can't show you those because they're PDFs. So. Yeah, okay. Fridge art. It actually has the magnet on the back. Another kit, well, fabric fabric and buttons, so you have to do your own floss. It's a cinch, Celebrate, from Heart and Hand. Oh, check that out. Honor gu Honors Guard, reversible black work. I don't think I've ever learned how to do reversible black work, so this will be cool. That is something new to learn. Herringbone, Herringbone help house, home, my stitching album. Oh, my stitching hours. Herringbone hour. So, and then it's got a list of the stitches you could, of the stitches for the other ones. So you could do, this is to practice herringbone. I'm going to learn stuff. Okay, the Stitch Girl Sampler from Chessie and, Chessie and me. Be in my bonnet stitch cards by Lori Hope. Little Rose Garden from the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. Oh, she's the one that we met in. 
from the Heart Needle Art. She was the one that was in, in Wyoming with us. So cool. I now have a second sampler of hers. And that, I love that. Look at those flowers. That is so pretty. So Wendy, cool. I have another one of yours. Stitching with the Housewives Very Bakery Chalk Art. Carolyn Manning's July Cross Stitch Quilt Block. Crazy Quilting July Block. That's a sailboat. I know that some of the other people who were getting, getting these were so excited to get Carolyn Manning patterns in theirs. I have never stitched a Carolyn Manning pattern. So, we'll see. Okay. Jelly bellies. Okay, this is four, right? Sweetheart tree. Tiny black work welcome sampler. Teeny Weeny Bikinis, Peace Officer. I have the Doctor Who one over there that I need, just need to do. And it comes with the pistol. So I definitely want to do that one. Uh -huh. Embroidery Christmas by Nikki's Creations. That's got all the little sewing things. That's going to be fun. Teresa, Co Cro Teresa Kogan, Fractor, Stitched on Pitches Plus Legacy, another Stitching with the Housewives, Trucking Along in April. A year of vintage trucks, chalk art. Oh, letters from Nora. Q. Someone is always the queen of your heart. Q is a good letter to stitch because you can make it into anything. That is the same block. Okay, so since we know this is a duplicate, we will give this away too. Use the word quilting in your comments. Mary's a tea and accessories. That'll be a fun one to stitch. Oh my gosh, there's so much. I was worried that I was worried that this was gonna be stuff they couldn't sell that was all crap. But these these have turned out really good. Oh look. Reproductive reproduction sampler with all the charm pack. With the charm pack. That's gonna be cool. Gonna be cool. Okay. Number five. And so far, only two duplicates. That's kind of really cool. Grateful hands. These letters which you now behold, when many years away have rolled, were stitched with grateful hands, the love sewed in shall stand. Blown and Ling. That would be fun to do 
32 or 36 over 1. Victoria Sampler Valentine Pin Cushion. This is actually on my wish list. So that's really cool that I got one of the ones off my wish list. Sweetheart Tree Colonial Roses Fog. Summer House Stitch Works Simple Abundance. Again, that's going to be an easy one to carry in the car with you. Sports Alphabets. Okay. Nobody in this house plays sports ball. Nobody in this house watches sports ball. Um, however, I have nieces and nephews and niblets that do sports ball stuff. Let Freedom Ring Drum, also by Elizabeth. Her site's Dames of the Needle. She does cool stuff. Stitching with the Housewives Chalk stuff again. November. Calendar Crates. Oh, that's this is a cool one. This is a, another Teresa Kogut. I hope I'm saying her name right. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments if I'm not. Above all. Above, above all, love one another. And Nikki's Creations Rose Sampler. Didn't we start with this? Hold on. I guess not. So that's cool too. These have all been wonderful. Last one. Do we open the last one? Do we save it for next time? Because we're an hour in and we have not even talked about all the food corn stuff. Oh my gosh, look. The stuff that happened with Corey Richards this week. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cute! Jeanette Douglas Halloween Quaker pin cushions. Are those just adorable? <clears throat> this one, I don't know, this one kind of looks like it got wet somewhere along the way. It's kind of a little, I don't know, maybe it was just not. Display, maybe it got crunched disp being displayed somewhere. But French Lavender Pillows from Victoria Sampler. So it's a messed up chart. You can still stitch it. After all, pattern's just a place to start. And the stitch diagrams are still clear. So. Crosswing Collection. Hummingbirds of the World. I will have to check inventory. I may actually own that. The Stitch Girl Sampler. Okay, I know. I know we had this one. Jesse and me Stitch Girl Sampler. So, you know what? We're already giving away two things. We'll save this for next time. We'll give that away next time. Oh, look! The Carolyn Manning December Block. That one's actually really cool. The Crazy Quilting December Block. Okay, I've got the July Block. I've got the December Block. I wonder if I can find the other blocks and put them, put them all together like a quilt. This is Halloween. 
Searching with the Housewives. Be Busy by Nikki's Creations. That. Stitched 15 by 15, 32 count old English linen. DMC thread, two strands of floss over two. I know, I might do that one over one. over one. That one might be really cool, one over one. Simple Abundance, which we already have, so we'll give that away next time too. Oh, cute! The Pumpkin Boo Pack. Pump pumpkin Boo Pick. That's cute. That's also an Elizabeth Tal Taladeo. Names of the Needle. Ooh. Needle Book Pomegranate. Jeanette Douglas Designs. That looks cool. That looks like it's got some interesting stitches in it. That could be fun. Interesting stitches. Sweetheart Tree, Sparkler, and Lavender. That's another, that would be another fun stitch. God, that kind of looks like pulled work down at the bottom there. You will need platinum linen. It's got the sparkly lavender payettes, or however you say those. Um, okay. So, that was definitely a good investment. So, we have two, we have two things for, two things for, we're rehoming. The Crazy Quilting July Cross Stitch by Carolyn Manning. So if you use the word quilting in your comment, you'll be in the drawing for that one. And if you use the word friend or friends, you'll be in the drawing for this one. Okay. True crime time. And unlike Pam's Crafty Corner, who does coffee, crime, and, and craft, we're just gonna do local stories. So, local stories. Corey Richens. So, if you've heard about the Walk the Dog letter, Corey Richens, when they were doing a sweep of her cell, Corey claims that the letter was in an envelope marked for her attorney, which it wouldn't really have been legal for them to take. However, the guard who found the letter said, no, no, it was tucked into a book of studying for the LSAT. Yeah, Corey Richens in jail is going to study for law school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, the Walk the Dog letter includes all sorts of things that the prosecution is saying, this is witness tampering. She is coaching the witnesses on what they need to say. And she's trying to blame the fentanyl and getting the fentanyl on her husband saying that you know this was he, it, this was his fault he was a drug addict he was he overdosed um honey no no we've we, we've already got we've already got the uh fentanyl sandwich that you made for him that on valentine's day that although whether that was actually fentanyl or not it, whatever it was it made him really sick but uh, it was enough to scare him to changing his will, changing everything so that she got nothing and his sister gets custody of the kids and everything. So um, anyway, this week, Corey Richen's attorney um, filed a motion saying that because of prosecu prosecutorial malfeasance, the entire thing should be dropped and her client should go free. And everybody else is going like, no, no. And in fact, one of the rumors running around town is that Corey's lawyer may be in a little bit of trouble because she may have been caught smuggling stuff in or out of the jail. 
Nobody seems to have the details yet, but uh, if I hear anything, I will let you all know. <clears throat> so, other things. Other things going on. Ruby Frankie still has not had her bail hearing. And I was looking at it the other day, and I was thinking, does Ruby Frankie and Lori Daybell use the same stylist? Or is the crazy cult mom look, is there just something I don't know about it? Because I'm looking at Lori Daybell's hair and Ruby Th Frankie's hair thinking, these two are wearing the same blonde bob. And it's not quite the power mommy entitled thing. But I don't know. I, I think I'm going to be looking a little twice about people wearing that crazy cult mom hairstyle. But a lot of stuff is coming out about Jody Hildebrand, who is the therapist who is helping, uh, helping Ruby to uh, deal with her children and fix her marriage by separating her from her husband and having him block the kids and, and, uh, by the way, if, if you if you don't know, the oldest daughter, Sherry, currently has custody of the kids that are not in state care. State care. Um, there's also also if, if anybody went heard about the mess that was the custody hearing for the two kids that the state took into custody and took to the hospital because they had honey and cayenne pepper smeared onto their wounds. You know, I'm sorry, this is torture stuff. This is stuff that, that they teach, they used to teach the military for torture. This is, this is not how you treat children. And this is horrible. And it's just, it's disgusting. It's disgusting that she got away with this for so long. And all I can say is, oh my gosh, I hope they have every, I hope they have all their ducks in a row. And, ugh. Because I honestly don't see how Ruby didn't know what was going on in that house. She was in the house with, with Jody. And so anyway, at the, at the custody chill, hearing, somebody yelled, somebody in the audience yelled that, that the 12-year-old had, had been molesting their child. And the, nobody's saying who it was. But I really get the feeling it was one of Jody's cohorts in her in her in her power circle, and that she basically told them to say this again, witness tampering, which we seem to do a lot of in Utah. Thank you, Corey. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's other other than, than what's come out about what they found in about the honey and cayenne pepper mixture and that they found in the, the search. There hasn't really been a lot come out about Ruby Frankie. Any, okay, I shouldn't say there's not a lot new coming out. There's lots of new stuff coming out about Jody's therapy methods and how they're not really therapy. <clears throat> so, other things that happened in in the Inner Mountain West. Chad Daybell had a preliminary hearing and they set up November 29th for when they're going to have the hearing on cameras. Which means if the press wants to have cameras in the courtroom, they have to have all of their statements filed by their legal teams within, I think it's 14 days before the 29th. So that's coming up there. And the other thing that was announced in the hearing is um, they won't be doing any additional DNA testing. So since there is no additional DNA testing that is going to be ordered, um, and both sides have agreed that there is no additional DNA testing, JJ's body can be released to his grandparents, and he can properly be buried now. So that he won't be in the pet cemetery 
that he'll be he'll actually have a grave with a headstone in Texas with his grandparents where they can go visit him. So other things. Okay, I don't have anything new on Daniel, the killer for Anastasia Stevens. I have not made it down to the courthouse to uh, pull his pull the records and see what's going on with his case. Again, he was supposed to be arraigned in August, but as we've seen with Ruby Frankie and some of the and Corey Richens, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes they push off the arraignments. So, speaking of pushing off things. Three years ago, Riley Nagel was stabbed to death in Sugar House. Sugar House is a really nice upscale suburb of Salt Lake City. It's not even a suburb because it is part of Salt Lake City. It's within the city limits proper, but it's, it's, everybody knows the Sugar House neighborhood. Um, if you live here. So three years ago, Riley Nagel was stabbed in the Sugar House area. And the 69-year-old man who stabbed the 26-year-old Riley confessed to the police that, yeah, he did it. We don't know why he did it, but yeah, he did it. So between COVID and competency hearings, because apparently this Kennedy guy keeps sliding in and out of whether he's sane or not to go to trial, um... Anyway, it's been three years and he still hasn't gone to trial and the family's starting to get really frustrated because they're not hearing anything. They're not hearing anything from the prosecutor, uh, prosecutor's office. In fact, the last competency hearing they had, they didn't even hear about it until it was on the news, which the DA's office has, has admitted that that's on them. That was really, that was bad on their, their part. They'll try and do better about communicating. And they did indicate that the next competency hearing for Kennedy is on November 6th. So that gives the family at least two to three weeks notice on that one. <clears throat> so the other, the other big news is Nicholas Rossi, who is a rapist in Utah County, which is 45 minutes south of me, was found hiding in Scotland under an assumed name. And I think it was Dateline or 48 Hours or one of those that um, could have been 2020. Anyway, one of one of the, what my husband calls my murder shows did a special on Nicholas Rossi. And he... Scotland has granted extradition. So he's going to be on his way back to Utah County to face trial for the rape. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's more than one because usually you have to have three to get tried to get tried in Utah for rape. <clears throat> so that is the local crime gossip. And I am going to stray out of the local scene. Oh my gosh, guys. Have you seen the rabbit hole that is Sarah Boone? So Sarah Boone allegedly killed her husband or boyfriend or her significant other by putting him in, by convincing him to get into a suitcase, zipping it closed, and then tossing it around, kicking him and going to bed with him trapped in the suitcase. He died of asphyxiation. And if you've seen the police interview, oh, the police interview with her is on YouTube. I'll see if I can find it and put the link down below, but oh my gosh. She thought she was gonna walk out of that police interview and was just shocked when she was arrested. She kept saying, it wasn't intentional. It's not intentional. Honey, he's still dead. And it's your fault. You started the chain that ended up in his death. She has now gone through seven attorneys. And the court has allowed the seventh attorney to withdraw. And this attorney suggested that maybe it might be better if she represented herself. And I'm sitting here thinking... I saw that video. 
I'm wondering what her competency hearing has been like. Because this woman is nuts. Either that or she's crazy like a loon and smart as a fox and is using the pretending I'm crazy to make sure that she doesn't spend her, the rest of her life in jail. But I have fallen down the Sarah Boone rabbit hole and I will be following that one. But that is all I have today. So <clears throat> I will put in the description below um, a link to the Sarah Boone interview if I can find it again. Um, the list of the YouTubers that I followed years and years ago that are still making videos after after three to four years. I had one person who hasn't filmed in five years that I'm still subscribing to. Um, <clears throat> we talked about the content. We talked about if you want these two the duplicates from my from my bags. And we've talked about the true about true crime. So I think we've covered everything. This is Stasha. Thanks for visiting my channel. Hit like, hit hit subscribe. All the stuff that they everybody tells you to do. Um still under 500 subscribers and honestly I kind of like the YouTubers that are under 500 subscribers because they just seem more there and honestly I need to just start doing these live because I don't edit although let's see if I can't do something about showing my address um anyway maybe I can get light to help me with that oh oh news light has put in an offer on a house and they may be moving soon. I will miss them. But they are excited about getting their own place. So that is the last of our news. So floss tube until next time. Go look for go look at Witchy Stitcher stuff. I'll put a link to her website. Support her. Don't order the kits. Those are hard for her to do. But a lot of the other merchandise is drop shipped and her patterns are PDF. I got the carousel. I got the spooky carousel. I'm excited about that. So anyway, um, I'm all about supporting each other when we're in trouble. And that's why I'm supporting Witchy Stitcher while she's having her, her illness problems. If you're having illness problems and want me to call out and, and support, put it in the comments. That's what comments are for. So anyway, remember, pattern is just a place to start. Make it your own. Have fun.